Hey guys, my name is Joanna. Thanks for checking out my channel. Today we're gonna talk about the best gifts under $20 that are perfect for the gift exchange game. So this is the white elephant gift exchange game. If you call it something else, let me know down below. But basically everybody who is at the party or playing the game brings a gift. You usually set a limit so they're all worth about the same amount. And when we play with our friends, the limit is $20. Now the challenge with bringing a gift for this game is it kind of has to be generic enough that it could work for most people that are there. Of course, everyone has different tastes, but I'm gonna give you 42 awesome gift ideas that I think will work for so many people. You don't have to be that person that brings the generic mug and chocolate combo, you know, the one that's pre-wrapped, you don't really have to do any work for. You can bring an awesome idea, and I think that these are gonna work really well for you. A lot of things are from Amazon, which is great. You can buy them within a few days. Another place that I love getting gifts for this type of game Game is Chapters or Indigo. They have so many cool ideas. So you're going to see those two stores repeated a lot with a few others thrown in as well. So number one is a mug. I know I said we don't want to bring the generic mug, but if you do want to do a mug, there's so many fun ways to do it. You've got the Lego mug where you can actually build Lego on your mug. If you've got office friends or office fans with your friend group, bring the classic world's best boss mug. We brought this one year and it was definitely a popular item. I also saw world's okayest employee. I think that's funny. If you've got a friend that would appreciate that, consider doing a mug like that. If you've got friends fans, you can do a friends theme mug. I love the Central Perk mugs. There's so many different styles you can get with that as well. If you got any musical fans out there who enjoyed the musical Hamilton that's really been popular this year, there are some hilarious mugs. I might actually be getting my husband one this year because he loves the king, but there's, um, you've got the song with the lyrics. La -da 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 -da. Okay, I probably shouldn't sing it, but you know what I mean. Then there is a mug that has probably my husband's favorite quote on it. I don't want to mess it up, but if you are a Hamilton fan, you'll know exactly what I mean when I show you the picture. There's also a really fun Bob Ross themed mug where, where you pour hot water and the, it changes color. There's so many options if you want to go the mug route, which is cool. To be honest, it's cool. And if you've got coffee drinkers in the group, someone's going to love it. But if you're doing the mug route, make it cool, make it creative, go with you know, a TV show that everybody in the group loves or something creative. Okay, we're gonna get that other one out of the way that is often a, a go-to gift for these type of events, and that is a gift card. Now, I am someone who loves gift cards and I'm not opposed to them, but if you're gonna do a gift card this year for the White Elephant game, make it funny. I saw this idea, I believe on Pinterest, but what you do is you collect like 10 even more different gift cards. Now, the key is that only one gift card has money on it. So you might have to slowly collect these or use old gift cards that you've already used up, but you give them all displayed either in like a picture frame or on a piece of paper or cardboard, and you say only one of these has money on it. Then that person is tasked with trying to figure out which gift card has money on it. We have apps now, so it's a little bit easier to check so they don't have to go to every single store, but I think it's a fun way to do the gift card idea if that's what you wanna do. Okay, let's talk about the candy or chocolate idea. Again, a little bit generic, but let's spice it up. If you have any Office fans in the group, this hilarious gummy that I found is going to be perfect. This is when Jim pranks Dwight on the many occasions that he does, but this is when he puts his, no, it's not Dwight, it's um, Andy. He Wait, okay, sorry Office fans, you guys are gonna have to correct me, but Jim is pranking someone and he puts a stapler in Jello. So this is a gummy version of the stapler in Jello. I think it's hilarious. I'm assuming it's gonna taste okay too, but I think it's a fun way to do the candy idea. If you're gonna do chocolate, maybe get like a giant Toblerone or a giant Hershey bar, something that of course fits in the budget, but make it, you know, a little bit more exciting than just the generic chocolate bar. All right, I'm gonna go faster through these next ones and I'm gonna do my best to link absolutely everything down in the description below if you are interested in buying any of these things for yourself. 
All right, we have got magnets. My personal favorite, there is a set of Friends themed magnets that I might be buying this year. It's hilarious. If you're a Friends fan, you'll get all the references. But any TV show or movie is bound to have something like this, either a set of stickers or magnets, something that someone who's really, you know, nerdy about one of these TV shows or movies would love. I will link some from both Amazon and Chapters if you're looking for something like this. All right, I know that games can often break the $20 price point, but I found quite a few that will work and I think are pretty fun. There's quite a few little games you can get in tins. One that I thought was fun was How Well Do You Know Me cards. This is a game you could play at the dinner table or with your friends. Of course, there's a deck of cards, but let's make it cooler and get a deck of cards with a theme on it. So your favorite movie, your favorite TV show, you can get, you know, the office cards, you can get Harry Potter, whatever it is, you can put it on the card deck of cards to make it a bit more fun. You can also put get customized cards where you put your face on them. So if you wanted to take a really funny picture of yourself, put them on the cards. I think that could be fun too. There's an office game called Assistant to the Regional Manager that comes with the mug, um, World's Best Boss. It is $17.50 at Indigo. And that's something that I'm considering bringing for our eggnog party this year. Okay, I saw lots of different versions of a waffle maker and two specifically that are under $20. They're gonna make smaller waffles, but I think it could be a really fun gift. There's a heart shaped one that I found and then just a regular waffle. Number seven is pillow covers. Specifically, if you've got any gamers in your life or in the group that you're playing this game with, there's a pillow cover that has a place for the controller and the remote. I thought that was really funny. Could also throw in some gaming themed socks with that as well. On the topic of socks, there's lots of really fun ideas. You can get your face printed on socks now, or you can really get absolutely anything. I found some pizza themed socks on Amazon and they're folded up shaped like a pizza and packaged in a pizza box. And I think that's really funny. There's a cheaper set, it's just one set, and then you can pay a little bit more money depending on your budget to get an entire pizza shaped. So those are on Amazon and I will totally link those. Number nine, a cell phone stand. There's a banana one that I found or just a generic stand. Number 10 is a silicone popcorn maker for the microwave. You just put your kernels in and set it to go. You could also add some of those cute little um, flavored, like flavor shaker thingies, you know what I mean? I'll put them up here to go with it as well. It's 20 bucks on Amazon if you're looking for something like that. We've got a couple kitchen ideas. You can get a French press for $20. You can get a milk frother for $17 on Amazon if you've got, you know, some fancy coffee drinkers in your life. Found this really fun pizza cutter where it's shaped like a bicycle and the wheel is the pizza cutter. I think that's awesome. That is $16 on Amazon. Number 14 is a cup holder for a couch. So this goes on the armrest of a couch and it lets you, you know, just have a flat surface to put a drink on. If you've got any avocado fans in your life that you can get a grow your own avocado little tree. And this is also on Amazon for under $20. Okay, this next one, please forgive me, is slightly over $20. It's $21.99 on Amazon, but it is a portable karaoke microphone. I think that could be so much fun. If you're going to a party with Marvel fans, I've got an Infinity Gauntlet, and this is a bottle opener, which I think could be really fun, also on Amazon. If you're going for a silly gift, there's tons of different coloring books that are really funny themed. Um, we've got a farting animals coloring book, a pooping animals coloring book, and the list goes on. So if you wanna do something really funny like that, maybe throw in some nice pens to make it better, um, you could do that. Number 19, if you've got Harry Potter fran friends, friends, you can get a screaming mandrake. You can also get a plant that looks like a mandrake, but that doesn't come in under 20 bucks. I will link the other one though that I found. If you wanna get a cup or like the tumbler cups with the straws, get something fun. There's tons of tumblers that you can get with pretty much any theme out there. Just go with whatever the group is into. If they're into a certain movie or a certain TV show, get something themed along those lines. Number 21, you can tell I'm a Harry Potter fan. I saw this Marauder's Map, which is really cool. It's interactive, comes with a wand, and you can actually use the wand to reveal things on the map. 
Number 22 is an advent calendar. If you're having this early on in the Christmas season, you could get someone a countdown calendar to Christmas. Now, of course, there's tons of fun chocolate themed ones. I'll link a few that I found. And again, you could do a themed based on their favorite or the group's favorite movie or TV show. A lot of these things are customizable to really go with what the general group is into, which is awesome. All right do a cookbook but again make it fun you can do a harry potter themed cookbook and it comes up with all these different recipes to make things from the movie or things that could be part of that whole wizarding world there's lots of other themed cookbooks and i'll link a few below okay back to the marvel fans i found these eau de toilette so kind of like uh, perfume or cologne that are themed based on different Marvel superheroes. So there's an Iron Man one or a Spider-Man one. I'm sure you could find some other ones and I'll link that website down below. Number 25 is a dry erase notebook. I think this could work well for a lot of people. It's kind of different. It actually folds in half so it's exactly like a notebook. You can just erase it and use it like a normal whiteboard but I think it could be cool. Number 26, this would really work for our group of friends and that is hot sauce. I will link a set, it's called the Global Hot Sauce down below. This one, sorry, $22.99, I know it's a little bit over budget, but you can find different hot sauces that would be under $20. You can make up your own little kit as well. If you're a Hot Ones fan, it's a YouTube channel where celebrities answer questions while eating hot sauce. You could find one of those hot sauces and put that as a gift. I think that'd be really fun. Number 27 is a notepad. It's called Passive Aggressive Notes and it walks you through how to write a passive aggressive note. Number 28 is this little holder for, it's typically for a can of beer. I don't drink beer, so I would use it for pop, but it holds, it uh, covers your pop can um, and keeps it cold. There are these cute little ones that are flannel shirts, and I think that could be really fun. Number 29 is a little candle accessories kit. It comes with a few things like scissors to cut the wick down or the, I forget what it's called, the little thing that goes on top to to uh, take put the candle out. You'll see it. I think that could be a really fun gift. Could also do a fun candle. I think candles always work as gifts too. And you can find a lot at Bed Bath and not Bed Bath and Beyond, Bath and Body Works and Amazon. All right, next is tea. If you've got a lot of tea drinkers in the group, you could come up with a little basket of your favorite teas or maybe some accessories to go with that. I think that'd be really fun. Number 32, if you've got readers in the group, you can do a book light. You can get things like that, again, on Amazon or at Chapters. Number 33 is a beard apron. This would work really well for my husband. It stops the beard hairs from going in the sink. Probably should get him one of these for Christmas. Number 34 is beard oil. I found some on Amazon that come on under the $20 mark, and I'll link that below. Next, you could do mac and cheese, but do the cool cheetah Dorito version that is floating around. I've seen it, I haven't tried it, but I think that could be really fun. Number 36, another candy idea, do jelly bellies. These are the different flavored jelly bellies, which I think are really fun. Could also do like a throwback candy basket and do some like fun dip or the fizzes or those sticks that just have sugar in them. Like those are amazing. <laughs> so do some like throwback to the childhood little things of candy. All right, we're on the home stretch. Number 37 is coffee. Now get something that's a little bit nicer than maybe the generic like Maxwell House coffee you get at the store. On Amazon, you can get a brand called Kicking Horse Coffee. My husband is a coffee drinker and according to him, it is really good and it comes in at $13.97. So that's a perfect idea. Number 38, I think this would work for absolutely everybody. You could get touchscreen gloves, so you can still keep your hands warm, but the fingers are a little bit thinner, so you can still use your phone. Number 39, a poo-pourri. So this is the spray that I think is mostly sold at Chapters. I will link it below, but it is a spray for your toilet, and I just think it's a funny, always funny gift. On the theme of toilets, you can get a little golf set for the bathroom. <laughs> so, you know, if you're in there for a long time, you don't get bored. Number 41 is a blanket. You can get a really nice blanket on Amazon for under $20, and I will link that below. But I think it's a classic. I think I've always, at every um, gift exchange game I've done, I think blanket has always been there, and it's usually pretty popular. Everyone loves a cozy blanket. All right. 
Number 42, last but not least, is an ice cube tray. Now, hear me out. There are some really hilarious molds that you can get for ice cubes. I saw mustaches, dogs, cats. I even saw one for dentures, which I think would be hilarious. So you could put a little set like that together and I think it would be a good one. Okay, I hope that was helpful. We are going to a Christmas party where we always play this game. So it's something we look forward to every year. Let me know if you do the white elephant game with your friends or your family and let me know your best ideas. We can keep coming up with the ultimate list to share with each other. I have a few more Christmas themed videos coming up. So if you're interested in those, consider subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye.